guys, this is your girl Nikki J and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a video. I upload videos on Wednesdays and Fridays and once a month on Sundays, I upload a Come Cook With Me video. So in today's video, guys, we are going to be doing a Mary Kay look. I received a number of samples from a Mary Kay consultant. Um, she asked that I try them out. And so I am going to try these products out. As a matter of fact, I have the box here that I have opened and I have a ton of products and she sent me quite a few samples, um, eyeshadow samples. So we're gonna try these eyeshadow samples out. Um, there's some some cute colors, so I've kind of torn some off that I'm gonna I'm gonna try these again. This may not be a full Mary Kay look, but we are definitely featuring these products as well as she sent me this sample of um, the Mary Kay um, lip glosses. Then I have this Time Wise. Um, what else is in here? It's a lot of stuff in here. So these are the Mary Kay Ultimate Lip Glosses. And so there's like, there's five mini glosses in here. So we'll definitely try those with this look. These eyeshadow, um, several she like sent me whole cards so i have these and the colors are frozen isis this is like a purple color and this other one is cashmere haze see that and then there is cinnabar it's kind of like a brownish color so, um, let me swatch these since I have quite a few samples, so I should be able to really do this look. So let me swatch this cinnabar. Y'all see that? It's a nice brown color. I've been looking for a nice brown. Oh, that looks nice on my skin tone too. Hmm. Nice pigment. Okay, Mary Kay. And this next one is Cashmere Haze. Let me swatch that for you guys. That's like a gray color. These are really pigmented. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Mary Kay. Hmm. These are just the samples. And then the Frozen Isis, that's that purple color one. It's kind of has a pearlescence to it. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Mary Kay. All right. Okay. Then we have these lip gloss. I'm not going to use every lip gloss tonight, y'all. So I'm going to swatch the five lip glosses. This color is Mauve Unique. I'm just going to do it on here. That's Mauve Unique. That looks cute. This next one is... Jolly Nancy or Fancy Nancy. Unique Mauve. I'm sorry. I haven't read this French version. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Unique Mauve was the first one. And this one is Fancy Nancy. And it looks like it has a little pearlescence in it as well. Let's watch that here. On the wrist. Okay. Fancy Nancy. This next one is Tawny Nude. This is kind of brownish or beigeish color. Swatch that. Oh, that's cute. Too. Oh, I'm loving all of these glosses. Okay, Mary Kay. You know, Mary Kay been around a long time, so honey, she ain't new to this. She's true to this game. Um, this next one is Berry Delight. 
these little words, honey. I don't have my glasses on, y'all. Honey, I done got over 40 and my eyes do not want to cooperate. Ooh, that's a pretty gloss. Okay. That's pretty berry delight. I like that. And this final one is Iconic Red. You know Mary Kay was infamous for those red lips. So let's see what this Iconic Red is. Okay, guys. These are the five glosses. This one here is... Hold on, where did it go? Let's see. Unique Mauve. That's that one. Unique Mauve. And then there is Fancy Nancy. That's that one. Then there is Tawny Nude. That's that one. And we have the Berry Delight. That one. And Iconic Red. That one. So, oh, I'm liking these colors so far. Okay, Mary Kay. Okay, Mary Kay. Okay, Mary Kay. I am here for it. So, I'm excited to get into this look. So, I am going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then we'll jump into actually doing the look. All right. Okay, guys, so my eyebrows are done, and I also used my e.l.f. Eye Putty Primer, um, you know, to prime the lids for the shadow. So, let us see what we're going to work with, what we're going to start with. Um, I don't know. That brown was really nice and chocolatey looking. And then this Cashmere Haze. I think I want to kind of blend that and then use the purple, but I also brought in my Perfusion Matte Eyeshadow Palette, um, just in case I need to kind of use a little bit more uh, color. So let's go ahead and start with this Cinnabar color. It's that brown one. But with just the swatches on my hand, um, that seems to be a really nice pigmented color. This is from their Chrome Fusion collection. Um, yes, all three of these are from the Chrome Fusion so collection. So I'm just going to use, like I said, I, some of these brushes I've had for so many years. I don't even know who they buy anymore. <laughs> but this is a travel brush set, so I'm going to use that. And So I'm just going to kind of go in here and start working this shadow onto the brush. And I am going, oh, y'all. Y'all see that? Mary Kay. Girl, you're real pigmented. This is the chocolate I've been looking for all my life. Y'all, look at that. This is the chocolate I have been looking for all my life. I've been looking for a nice chocolatey color. Now, this one is a matte color. Now, y'all know I love that box of chocolate um, palette from Black Radiance because that, them chocolates in there are just yummy, but they are all shimmer. And I like them because they're shimmer and they, they don't have any fallout. But this is a matte. Y'all. That pigment on that thing is nice. Okay, so Mary Kay, like, listen. I ain't new to this game of makeup. I have been around for years. All these new ones and these, this MAC and NYX and... Colourpop and Juvia's Place and and don't get me wrong I like all of them too honey 
Juvia's Place and all of those guys that are the neophytes, honey, the newcomers. Mary Kay say, I didn't come to play. I came to slay. And I'm still putting it down. Okay, Mary Kay. And look, I'm keep building this. And this, this is still the sample. There is so much make, just so much product on this little sample card. Okay, Mary Kay. Girl. You doing this, and I am pleased. I have been looking for a chocolate brown like this for years. Yo, come on now. Right in front of me. Right before my eyes. Come on, Mary Kay. You did that, girl. I am pleasantly surprised. I was not expecting it. But why wouldn't I not expect it? Because I said Mary Kay been doing this thing for years. Okay. So let's go in with this cashmere haze, which is that kind of like gray color. And I want to work that into the corners of my eyes. So let me get my elf defining eye brush it's got this little angle on it um, did i bring that other little small one in here mm -hmm. i don't see it so anyway moving on and this is another matte color again this is from that chrome fusion um line of Mary Kay. Oh yeah y'all. This is cute. Okay. So that chrome color is really close to my um primer which is fine because we gonna Kick it up a little bit when we put this other color on. But I did want to kind of get this kind of ombre situation going on here. And it is giving me this nice ombre effect going into that brown. So I like that. I like that. It's giving me a nice little ombre effect going into that brown. Good job, Mary Kay. Hmm. So, let me go in with my LA Color Eyeshadow Shader Brush. And this is what I'm going to use for this Frozen Isis. It's that purple color. And this one has a little bit of shimmer to it, a little pearlescence. It's not like other shimmer palettes that we've seen here recently where it's a lot of fallout because clearly there is no fallout with this. But let's just... See how it's picking up on the brush. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm You know what? Mary Kay is straight old school because most of the makeup nowadays, I can't sweep it across my eyelid because it's so much excess product and fallout and all of that and i'm not getting that with mary Kay, because it follows the old makeup application of sweeping the product on the eye lid and she's here for all of this 
Y'all see that? Okay, Mary Kay. You came to do your thing, girl. And I'm here for it. Let me get in here on this good mirror real good. So I can work my magic here. And blend this on up. This is nice. This is really nice. And I am very pleased. Very, very, very pleased. And I don't think I've used a Mary Kay eyeshadow, I want to say, since I was maybe 14 years old. Now, when I was in college, now Mary Kay came out with a cream to powder foundation that I absolutely adored. And then they discontinued my color, but that was over 25 years ago. So... <laughs> It may be back in stock, honey. It may be back in the family. So I have to look that up. I don't remember what it was called, honey. You know, most of these companies will change a name on you quick, fast, and in a hurry. So it's probably not the same thing. But they do still carry cream to powder foundation. And I just liked the cream to powder foundation when I was in college, you know. Um... And I think a cream and powder foundation is really good for everyday look. I'm going to go back in with this chocolate. This Cinnabar. I don't know what I want to call it chocolate, but with this Cinnabar. It's that brown. Just kind of reintroduce it here. With just a little bit more concentration. A little bit more concentration right in here. Still using the same sample, y'all. Still using the same sample tray. Wow. Wow. Make it do what it do then. Okay. Yeah, so Mary Kay is still in this makeup game. And, you know, Mary Kay got loyal customers, honey. Loyal customers. But I see why. I see why they don't have to be in a, in a department store. I see why. Because they are consistent and... You know, they've done some rebranding, you know, just to kind of go with the time. But the quality of the makeup, I'm going to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to go with Mary Kay on this. You know, in comparison to the last couple of palettes that I've used, I'm going to have to go with Mary Kay. Um, you know, Mary Kay in that Black Radiance. Those two palettes have been, these, they've been my favorite thus far. Um, of the last makeup looks that I've done. And I'm just in here playing because this chocolate brown, I'm in love with. I'm in love with this brown. I'm in love with it. Y'all, this is really pretty. I've been looking for this chocolate brown color all my life, y'all, for real. All, all of my adult life. <laughs> Since I've been wearing makeup for real, for real. Like, getting into it. Like, y'all. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I really like it. I really, really like it. Thank you, Mary Kay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending me these amazing samples because y'all are her doing the doggone thing. Stealing the game, killing it, okay? And I ain't no Mary Kay consultant. But I may be sold on consulting here. 
Okay. I can. This is. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm just throwing this. This. This little cashmere haze up here just for the sake of throwing some, something up under there. I ain't really need it. I'm going to go back to this. Y'all, I love it. This frozen ice is this little purple. It's really nice. Y'all ain't no fallout over there. Look at that. And I did not pet, really. I sweep this. I ain't even got the blender. I ain't even blended. I don't even want to blend. Because I like it just like it is. I am not going to blend. I think it's blended enough. Wow. Okay, Mary Kay. All right. So let me line my lashes. I'm going to use my magnetic lashes. And then we can get into this foundation of it all because we done. This I look for real. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, we can get into the foundation of it all. Because we are done with this eye. This pigment is everything, y'all. Gotta do two coats of the magnetic liner. And I'm just going to go ahead and line with my LA Colors Black Liner. I'm gonna use a little bit of this brown down here. This cinnabar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mary Kay. I'm serious. Like, there is no... There is no fallout, y'all. Let me get this. Like, really? I was trying to make it like a clean cut. Let me put some moisturizer on my face. Y'all know I like to use the CeraVe Stretch Mark Cream. Because it is a great hydrator. 
Let me take it back. What did I bring here? So we're going to use our CoverGirl Outlast Foundation in Deep Bones. That's number 860. We're going to try this new technique again. I've been working on it, y'all. I'm getting better. <laughs> Edit. Still going to do my normal. You don't have to chisel as much now with the new look, honey. We still going to go in with our Black Radiance Concealer Stick. I don't know which one I grabbed. I grabbed the one that's like very similar to my skin tone. Which is fine with me here. Now we have our Black Radiance Foundation. Oil-free foundation in Espresso. That's number 8429. Y'all know my normal routine. We just blend it all together. I ain't got to spend a whole lot of time on this. Try to hurry this up. Y'all, I am really pleased with this whole Mary Kay situation. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetic Foundation brush number 116. And y'all know how I do it. I blend it all together. I tap and blend. Yeah, I'm going to get the links to this. Hopefully, I can find them uh, and put them in the description box. If you already have a Mary Kay consultant, reach out to them here for this because this is a good little shadow situation. And again, that is the Chrome Fusion line. From Mary Kay on those shadows. I am pleased all together. Pleased. All together, please. All together, please. No issues, no regrets. Yes, honey. Let me go in with my clean color translucent translucent powder and just kind of set. People say they don't bite. Listen, she still does. And I'm old and set in my ways. <laughs> and my look doesn't look drag queen-ish. So I think me setting this little bit of Concealer that I'm using, honey, because I just really started getting into concealer. They keep changing up the techniques on me. Mm. I think I'm doing all right. You know, that's just me personally. So I'm going to let this rest for a little hot minute. I'm going to get my Elf Stippling Brush. I'm going to put on my Black Radiance Press Powder in... Deep Ebony, I think that's what Deep Ebony. And I'm going to go up a little bit. I'm going to go a little bit higher. Because we ain't really into the contouring anymore. That's the... That's what they say in that day, so... So listen... They keep changing the rules of the game, honey. So she's trying to keep up. <laughs> she's trying to keep up. So in the meantime, in between time, I don't really bake all day long. I really just kind of put it in there and then I go in and blend it back. Blend it away. 
and that's what we're doing now. I don't really do a whole lot of baking. I just put it on and I kind of set it enough where there's no creasing. And if I'm performing on stage, she will get in there and blend a little bit. I mean, not blend. I'll bake. I'll bake longer if I am on stage. So again, we're gonna use our black radiance. Warm Berry Bake Artisan Blush number is 8305. And we're gonna go in on those cheeks. Go up to the hairline a little bit, y'all. Put a little bit of mascara on. Just a little bit. And then some on the bottom lash line. Ew! Okay then. Let's go in. We're not going to go dramatic with these good lashes. We're just going to go. Normal. We're using our good old magnetic lashes. Connect the dots. All right. I'm going to spray with my hard candy match your MB. Setting spray, it's a 24 hour wear in hydration. Then I'm gonna highlight a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot. There, keep as well. Chin, a bit on the forehead, just a little bit. Tap, tap, tap. I ain't even doing the cheeks today. But let's see about these good glosses. I don't know which one I want to use, y'all. I kind of want to use Neek. Mauve. Oh. Yep. So I'm just kind of trying all the different ones. So you guys can see. Um, 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 let's try this fancy Nancy. I did. Um, that's cute. Next one is um, uh, Berry Delight. Let's see what she looking like. I'm about to put this other lash on, y'all, because I'm looking crazy. <laughs> Very delight. Okay, that was cute. Very delight. Um, tiny nude. I think I did that one. Hmm. 
nail go to gloss look. That's why I carry along with you and just throw it on. Okay, Tawny Nude. The final is Iconic Red. Y'all know I love a red lip. Y'all know I love a red lip. I just feel like a red lip just takes it on in. Let me comb this little hair. Take the clip off. Okay, y'all. Um, what y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? I'm liking this shadow. Don't pay this 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 lash don't like me today, y'all. Don't pay no attention. It refuses to cooperate. And I'ma take it off. Just as soon as it's all over. But I am liking, I am liking, I am liking this. Mary Kay, Mary Kay, Mary Kay. Girl. You still out here in these streets doing your thing. You still out here in these streets serving us up in the makeup arena. You are. And I got your good iconic red on today. Right now. Mary Kay. My girl. You're still doing your thing. Let me let me pull this camera in so y'all can really get a good glimpse on what she's doing out here with this little chocolate brown situation here y'all see that y'all see that thank you mary Kay. i appreciate you for still doing your thing out here in these streets these days consistency you all have been consistent for years. So I am show enough appreciative. So guys, I thank you for sticking and staying with me to the end. And I appreciate you all for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and definitely enjoyed the content. And if you did, please make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload the videos. I'm sending love and light to you and yours. And please remember to be kinder than necessary because you never, ever know what someone is going through. Bye, guys, and I will see you in our next video. My future is bigger, brighter. Now that I removed the cloud of